Recently, I saw a video about how poisonous these sea snails are. They have literally unalived people. And then about a week later, I saw this post on Instagram of a girl holding a bunch of them in her hand. So I was like, oh my gosh, she doesn't know they're poisonous. So I sent her a message, but she said the shells were empty. So crisis averted. But not entirely, because there are still a lot of people who pick them up and don't realize they're risking their lives. So let me tell you about these snails. This is the cone snail siphon. It's basically like their version of a nose because it's how they sniff out prey. This is their proboscis. And at the end of it is a tooth that is covered in venom and they use it like a harpoon to paralyze their prey. And then they devour them. While all 500 species of cone snails are venomous, the one that's the most venomous is the geographic cone snail, because its venom is made up of hundreds of different toxins. Currently, there's no anti-venom for cone snail stings. The only treatment is to try to keep the victim alive until the toxins wear off. If you're wondering where to look out for them, they're typically found in warm tropical and subtropical waters. So if you see a sea snail shaped like a cone, leave it alone. Especially because being taken down by a snail would be kind of an embarrassing way to go. 